Good afternoon to all teachers and my dear friends. Welcome to Smart Talks. It is always the small pieces that make a big picture. Yes, Prerna Aditi Chikoti is the queen of puzzle making. She is an avid fan of jigsaw puzzles. Prerna spent hundreds of hours solving the maze since she was a little girl. We are proud to say she is from a PG Smart Campus studying 12th standard. Yes, Ms. Prerna started off puzzle making at the age of two and a half years with just 12 pieces and eventually with her willpower and determination and most importantly, her love towards the puzzle made her solve the 24,000 pieces just before her 13th birthday. Wow, Ram, that is a big number. On that note, let me invite Miss Prerna Aditi Chikoti to our Smart Talks. Hi everyone, I'm Prerna. Hi Prerna, we have multiple questions to ask, but before that, we wanted to show our friends a few glimpses of your proud moments. What motivates you to do this puzzle making? So I love the idea of putting pieces together to make the whole picture and the satisfaction I receive during and even after completing the puzzle is something I really, really like. And one thing is that every time I make a puzzle, I always frame it up somewhere in the house and seeing that gives me like a great sense of accomplishment. So I would say that's what motivates me to do this whole puzzle making. How do you balance studies and manage to do such wonderful puzzles? So when I was younger, my mom would always tell me to study and also do the puzzles. But since I always loved doing puzzles, I would be so engrossed in it that time would just fly. Um, it would be like six, seven hours I would be spending on like the puzzle. And my mom told me to allocate specific time. So once I used to come back from school, rather than taking a break, I would just sit and study for some time. And then the entire night, I would do the puzzle so that I don't need to, you know, uh, study right after that. And another thing was um, during school, during the transition periods, I would do my homework so that once I go back home, I don't need to do any homework. How do you plan your goals? Like you started from 12 pieces to 24,000 pieces and then recently. So I started when I was very young. So I didn't really have goals as such because I started at the age of two. So what my mom would do is that every week she would get me a, a puzzle of the same number of pieces as the previous week. And the puzzles would be of different themes, uh, different ideas, different designs. And after a month, she would advance me to a new level. So one month I would do like a 12 piece puzzle. Then the next month I would do a 20 piece puzzle. And that went on for quite a few years till um, I was maybe about five or six. And that's when I started asking for different piece puzzles based on um, the theme of the puzzle. We would love to see a short session of puzzle making as we all are excited to see. Over here on the side, I've arranged uh, the puzzle pieces for you all. So over here are the corner pieces and over here are the middle pieces. And this is the image of the puzzle. It's an animal kingdom, so you can see different types of animals. So now I am going to attempt to fix all those puzzle pieces and make a huge picture for you on this board. So usually I start off with the corner pieces because I think it's something which is very easy because I can figure out the theme easily. And so, so on the side over here are like crocodiles. So first I always usually start with either this side, this side, this side, or this side. So this time I'm starting off with this side and I'm gonna go this way. So over here are the crocodiles. And soon after comes a few butterflies. So I'm attempting to solve the puzzle on this board over here so that I can fix it easily on the board. 
so this is the bottom row and now I'll attempt the side rows and then I'll go on to the top row. Now I'm done with this side and I'm going to start attempting the top row where most of the monkeys and the birds are there. So one thing I really look for are the color combinations as well as the animals. So I know the monkeys are going to be somewhere like near the tree so that they're going to be high up. So they're going to be on this side of the picture while like the amphibians, reptiles are going to be at the bottom of the picture. So that's how I go about it. And before I start making a puzzle, I usually look at um, the picture given to me over here. So I get a brief idea of how exactly the picture looks. So now I'm done with the top row, I'll be going on to the side row. And now we're officially done with all the corner pieces. So usually when I do any puzzle, I always go for all the corner pieces first so that it's easier for me to do the puzzle. So now I'm going to start off with features I can look for. So this is a waterfall and I know that there are birds over here, monkeys over here, um, all the amphibians, reptiles at the bottom and a few cheetahs in the middle of the picture. So I identify the pieces accordingly. So this is a waterfall and this is a parrot. So now I'm done with all the birds, so the parrots, the yellow one and the blue one. And now I'll move on to a different area, which is going to be this area. So as you can see over here, what I'm planning to do is complete the snake. Finally, I'm going to move to the cheetahs because I think that's another very easy part. And as you can see, I'm done with the cheetah part of it. So now I'm just going to move up to the monkey part of it because all the trees are over here and this is where all the monkeys are going to be. Okay, and this is the final product. So the cheetahs and then the different animals over here. So yeah, this is about it. Indeed, it was so much fun and definitely motivates us to do such interesting puzzles. Thank you, Prerna. Prerna, what method would you like to share with our aspiring students who wish to do such amazing puzzles like you? I think one thing I would like to say is that starting uh, a puzzle at any age is never too late. You can be uh, 30, 40 years old, but yet you can still enjoy doing puzzles. And I would also like to say that do not give up very easily. And no matter what, just try one more time and eventually you will be successful. And this actually happened to me once. Um, I was 10 years old and I was doing a thousand piece puzzle of the same theme as this picture, uh, Animal Kingdom. And I gave up in between. And so my dad thought um, I shouldn't be giving up. So one day he sat down and he made the whole puzzle for me and he showed it to me and he said, see, I can do it. So why can't you do it? And the day after I actually sat down and I finished the entire puzzle. And from that day onwards, I've learned never to give up and give myself another chance to do the puzzle. And lastly, always believe in yourself. You have the ability to do any kind of work, whether it's hard or whether it's easy. So be confident and work hard to get your dream. That's all I would like to say. Thank you, Ms. Prerna, for such an interesting and motivating session with our friends. We loved every bit of it. And I'm sure each one of us are determined to take up our passion and learn to balance it well, along with our studies. Thank you for the opportunity, especially Rekha ma'am and Ambika ma'am. Thank you all once again.